Okay, parents out there, this one's for you today. So I just finished having a conversation with uh, a client who was a sophomore in high school, super ADHD, super scattered, both in his things and getting work turned in. Uh, if you've seen my ADHD wormhole video, he's one of the clients I was talking about there. And uh, one of the things he and I do is check his grades every week and look through power school and see what zeros are there and talk about why that's a zero and how we can get it in and help him sort of notice what his habits are that make him uh, lose track of work uh, so that he can actually build positive habits that keep him tracking his work. So one of the things that happens with this client is that I ask him a bunch of questions about his grades and then his mom asks him a bunch of questions about his grades and he's like, I'm tired of it. I'm tired that all I'm doing is talking about my grades and I want to just talk about them with you, Gretchen. I want my mom not to talk to me about them anymore. So we had a heart to heart together. Uh, when I'm filming this, I, I'm, a, I'm about to leave on a three week uh, vacation to Thailand. When you're seeing this, I will be back from Thailand already. But we decided to use Thailand as an experiment. What would it be like for him to have zero adult like nagging for three weeks? How can he actually see what his behaviors actually are when he doesn't have grown-ups hovering all the time? And so uh, we figured out these two choices to offer his mom. One was don't check the grades without the student present, right? Make a date, maybe Sunday nights, and have that be the night where we talk through the grades. Uh, that one he didn't want, but he was like, I'd be open to that because I don't think my mom can handle the other choice. <laughs> the other choice is don't check grades at all. Just stay out of it. When we get back, I'll look at the grades with him and talk about them. So I did run both these choices by the mom and she took a deep breath and said, oh my God, it would bring me so much joy not to check grades. <laughs> and so I won't do it. We'll see if she can actually follow up on that because I know it's a, it's a courageous act for a parent who's worried about student success. But for parents listening, I really recommend that you experiment with some times where you don't check grades at all or if that feels too hard because you don't have someone like me in your family's life, uh, make a date and don't ever check the grades online uh, when your student's not present. So that way, because I think so many students experience parents freaking out on their own and then sending all that anxiety, you know, to them, jumping down their back with it when they get home from school. And I, even as an academic coach, I no longer check students' grades outside of the session because I notice my own anxiety is high and I wanna reach out and fix everything. So I've decided student and I are always just gonna look at grades together uh, and that way it'll be an anxiety-free zone. The student can tell me what's going on and we can make plans from a neutral place together. So parents, good luck with this. Try one or both of these. Let me know how it goes. Gretchen at GretchenWagner.com is how you can find me and I will see you in the next video.